Hello, this is Dr. Bucher, who is from Clearville Action. Today, Dr. Glenn Thomas, our VP of Marketing, is going to cover X-ray image magnification. Glenn? Uh, magnification. Uh, essentially, the closer you get to the X-ray tube, the higher your magnification is going to be. Again, you can play with this concept by using a flashlight and shine it against the wall. Put your hand closer to the flashlight, you get a real big image on the wall, but it's going to be really... Uh, pretty blurry as you move the flashlight or move your hand away from the flashlight towards the wall the image is going to get smaller but it's also going to get clearer so what you have there is two things working for you the magnification and you have the geometrical unsharpness uh, since the tungsten filament or the LED filament in the point source is so large the um, Geometrical magnification really shows up pretty bad there at high magnification. That's why it's such a fuzzy edges. And as you get closer to the detector or to the wall, those fuzzy fuzzy edges go away. And that's uh, essentially X-ray uh, magnification. You typically want geometrical magnification to be the driving force. You can use pixel uh, magnification, you can use electronic magnification, but geometrical magnification is going to give you the best overall image. Um, it just gives you a better image. If you do any magnification electronically, that's great, that's fine, but you do need to have the magnification to see some of the microvoiding. Um, just like if you're trying to see something small with a magnifying glass or a microscope. Uh, the problem's there, you just can't see it because you don't have enough magnification to make the problem large enough. We have the same issues with x-ray. Essentially, if you want to look at a large uh, or small item with, uh, you know, you're going to need large amounts of magnification. Uh, to, to, if, you, if you notice on the screen, if you increase your magnification, you decrease your field of view. That's just a physics issue that we're trying to overcome. Uh, Someday maybe we'll find that answer, but essentially more magnification means less field of view. It's the same as uh, if you had a pair of binoculars, uh, you know, you can get uh, one times magnification, you get a large field of view. But if you get up to 25 times magnification, you get a field of view of, say, 200 feet. Same issue with uh, x-ray. So as, as your field of view goes up, your... Uh, or if you get a larger field of view, you get less magnification. You can't have both in the same package. Uh, you could get a larger field of view and then do electronic magnification, but you always have some degradation of the image based on electronic magnification. Thanks, Kalan. If you'd like more information about this topic or anything else related to x-rays, please contact us at 760-752-1192 or uh, check us up online at creativeelectron.com. Thanks. <music>